recorded video finally i'm doing my nails for the first time in like i think like six months solo so this is what they're looking like very i really don't want to do them to be honest because if y'all don't know which y'all should know i have on a faha i just got surgery and i'm like super suck tight and i struggle to put the clasps on and i know that nails are going to make that that much harder but it's okay because beauty is pain and beauty is struggle and all that good things and i just feel like y'all want this kind of content and i haven't did it in a long time i've been like really lazy i just need to get back to it because i spent so much money on nail stuff and it just sits here so i'm an ambassador for mccart now and i ordered these months ago and i've never tried them yet so we're gonna try them today i've been watching a bunch of youtube videos on how to do these because i've never tried this style i usually just use acrylics and tips or the forms the first thing that everybody does is the dual nail form so that's what we're gonna start off Ugh, with i gotta find the perfect size for each finger so let's do that it's zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven two four six eight so it's supposed to be sidewall to sidewall boom got it that is too big okay this is perfect perfect that extension kit came with instructions in its own set of dual forms but i'm so slow i ended up buying the other ones or maybe i knew that they came with it i don't know or i just bought it just to be safe but yeah it gave me instructions so i just spent like a bunch of time watching more youtube videos to try to figure out what i should do so i'm just prepping the nail and then i'm going to go ahead and file it i don't know where my sand band drill bit is at i've been just like throwing nail stuff here and there and like it's everywhere <laughs> i don't know where anything is so bear with me y'all bear with me and then i'm just gonna take off all this protein i try not to cut my cuticles off unless it's like really thick because one it takes more time and then two i just don't want to cut myself that's one of the whole reasons why i even started doing nails to begin with because all the nail tags were like cutting me and we ain't got time for that swipe i'm gonna dehydrate and then we're gonna put the base coat this is their solution let's take that out this is the base coat i'm gonna put the solution in here i'm guessing this is low-key like swipe Wow, the base coat is super like runny. Didn't expect that. So I probably am supposed to put like a super small amount. That would make sense. Let me clean it up. Alright, the curing is done. Let me see. Ooh, it's so sticky. I feel like it's supposed to be sticky though. Is it? I don't know. But we're gonna take it off because I ain't got time for this. I'm tired. I got a nail clips nail clips I'm supposed to hold them in place so i'm gonna take out a couple of them and see see what it do what it do
I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ended up doing everything on live on TikTok. If you guys were there, put TikTok live in the comments. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is actually three days later because I was so frustrated. This process took so long and I had stuff to take care of, you know, Christmas around the corner. But this is what I came up with. My live helped me decide what I was gonna put on each nail. Let me turn on my flashlight so y'all can see a little bit better. So this is what it's looking like. I ended up putting matte on this and I should have put shiny instead. I ended up getting some of the matte on the gem. So as you can see, like this very top one, it's like slightly matte, which makes it look a little bit tacky. It takes away the shine from those snowflake stickers that I put on there. I'm going to do a very similar set on this hand, but instead of using the nail tips where the poly gel is on the top, I'm going to use the forms the dual forms that came with it underneath that i didn't know about because i'm a little bit slow however they are shorter so i'm not sure if i should do that or not what do you guys think even though it's a big difference in length versus the tips i'm gonna just do my whole hand this color because i'm a nail type i can just take them off whenever i want to all right let me start with the slip solution i watched this girl i feel like her name is femi beauty on instagram and she uses the base I tried it with one nail and then I couldn't get behind it. So maybe I'll get more familiar with this to be able to tell the difference in which is better. I wanted to do all the nails in this, but I just don't feel like it's going to be enough. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. I need to get with the program and get to doing nails very frequently so I can stop forgetting certain things and I can master it. Um, but right now I'm going to, uh, let me push my cuticles back. You see, you see, uh, I'm just slacking right now. Push my cuticles back. I'm pretty sure I did this a few days ago, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and get it together again. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that I didn't like having to like sculpt the bottom as well. I don't know if normally you wouldn't have to sculpt them, um, but because I'm a beginner, I had to sculpt them. But yeah, I didn't like the fact of having to sculpt them felt like that was extra work i actually am gonna cut this because this is sticking out a little more to my liking a little more than i like and i don't know if you can notice by the lighting but i don't have my ring light on because i feel like it makes the videos look dingy and i absolutely hate it and that's another reason why i don't like filming these videos because it's usually nighttime when i am the in the like nail vibes um but we got natural lighting probably not for long because it gets super dark in chicago super fast i don't know where my mandrel bit is i'm gonna keep an eye out for it but i would usually use that in a sanding band to take off the shine off my nails so that the poly gel could stick and now i'm just cleaning up because i do have kind of deep growth channels for sure on my toes but you want to make sure you also get in there Now I'm going to use lint-free nail wipes and wipe it off, dry it out, dehydrate it. My, nail, my fingers are going to also look like I haven't put lotion on in months, but it's okay. Then I'm going to put the base coat on, but first let me pick out my correct nail dual forms. They usually say sidewall to sidewall, but I figure make it slightly bigger so that it fits perfectly. This will be... This would be my index finger. This will probably be my middle finger. Oh my goodness. Yep, my middle finger. Mm. This would probably be my ring finger. Yeah. And then what about my pinky? I feel like it's that small. Yep. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm gonna put it inside versus the scraping tool. And I'm not gonna put as much as I did with the other one, even though these are deeper and thicker. Um. Because I did have to do a lot of filing and get my slip. 
okay i feel like i'm a little bit more like familiar with it so i'm able to move faster already i can tell that difference yesterday it was just like too much it was too sticky or not yesterday but when i was doing them the other hand it was just like so sticky i didn't know when to dip it when to not dip it so yeah that's why i said i didn't want to judge it because i wasn't like too familiar with it i'm glad that i did take a break too because i came in with an open mind um to be patient not only because i know that it's like slightly harder to work with but also because this i'm working with my non-dominant hand well, i'm working with my dominant hand and that's a good thing about this as well that's another pro i would say is that because i'm working on a nail prior to putting it onto my nail i feel like this makes it easier i've also seen that hack for um uh, acrylic where they say to build your nail first like on a form or something or even on a nail tip and just leave the end for like uh, applying the nail and just put it on and it'll make it so much quicker i feel like that's definitely beneficial for extra large nails i feel like i did know that uh these nails came with it excuse my background i feel like i did know that these nails came with dual form but i didn't like the shape of it i felt like that wasn't gonna work for me for some reason as if i knew what i was doing and i felt like um they were too short because i know i like my extra long nails but I'm glad I got both of them, so I'm able to try different methods and see what works and what doesn't. Y'all know I love trying new things, and I encourage you guys to do the same. If I have any influence on you guys, it's to try new things. I'm also going to do Trills Nails. I convinced her to let me do, like, a matching set, obviously, without, like, acrylic or poly gel, but, like, charms and stuff. Make it simple, like a cute little manicure. I think that would be cute. I'd rather not work on a mannequin hand. I'd rather work on an actual person that's able to tell me if I'm applying too much pressure on their fingers. I feel like I want to... Okay, I'll do the thumb myself, but I feel like moving forward, I want to um, put the poly gel in all the nails and then apply them all together so I don't have to do like a bunch of back and forth and cleaning up and stuff like I'm doing now. I feel like that'll make it easier if I was actually working on somebody. And I feel like working on somebody is also helping with the time management, trying to be quicker at things. So, where's the base gel? Okay, this is the base gel. Let me go ahead and apply it on my thumb. Cure it. I'm gonna just cure it for like 15 seconds or something. I hate how hot the UV light gets. I mean, I like it because it's like, you know, it's working. But the Kiara Sky um, Professional Nail um, UV Lamp is so hot. I usually have to put it on, like, the setting where it gradually gets hotter over time, the 90 second one, versus the other one. Because, ciao. Mm -mm. I wish I could show you guys me put, struggling to put this in the lamp. But I'm just going to make it easier for myself and not have to move everything around so you guys can be able to see. But I'm going to lightly put this on here because I feel like when I did the other hand, I was, like, pushing down because I didn't want it to move even though it ends up moving anyways because it's just so soft. Let me go ahead and clean it up. I feel like I'm a professional right now. All I did was watch a few more videos. Period. Period. Okay, clean it up so I don't have to do that later on. So I don't gotta file too much. So it should be able to go on when I take it off. It should be perfect. Okay. What do we think? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna push down a little bit more only because it looks like it's not in under my nail and I feel like it'll pop off. Like I said, I've never had these type of nails before, but I feel like one, I'm about to mess it up, but, but two, I feel like that's how it sticks. I don't know. Oh, I'm pushing too hard because it's spilling out the sides. I messed up the brush. I feel like I'm messing up my brushes by like cleaning them when I get like poly gel or like acrylic stuck in them. I um use my cuticle pusher to take it out, but I forget how rough my cuticle pusher is. So I feel like it's breaking off some of the bristles, and that's what causes them to look like this. As you can see, it's not like super flat like it was in the beginning. And that's how all my brushes look. I just thought they needed to be more hydrated, but now that I think about it, since I just took this out the pack, I think that's what it is. So I need to find a different way to be able to take off um, acrylic and poly gel off the brush instead of that method. Maybe I just need to like push a little bit harder and swirl it more. The bottom looks good, looks decent. Let me cure it. I don't have to actually let me look the camera. I don't actually have to hold it. And I thought it was gonna be a problem because you know with the last tips I had to hold it. But I don't have to hold it this time. So that's a plus of using a full coverage dual form. I do like my nails straight and not curved. So that is actually most likely the biggest thing um, that I was worried about with these with this kit um dual kit thing. I'm just gonna be even longer. I don't know how long to be one but yeah I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna take this tip and try to pop it off. Ooh. Ooh. Period. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I don't like the curve at all, but I'm sure once I file it straight, I it will, go pee. Okay, go pee. It'll, it'll take off like a lot of the edge and then I can build it more with the poly gel. Um, if I had like a, a, the pink set, I've seen a lot of people do natural nails and this definitely is giving natural nails. You just gotta touch it up a little bit. So if you're going for like the short nail look and stuff, this is perfect. Um, but I like long nails. And if you have the longer the nails, I feel like the thicker you have to make it. So this side is very like clear. It's not sticky at all, very hard. The underneath is pretty sticky. So maybe let me put that under the light real quick and it won't be. It definitely was sticky for these, but I feel like I had to flip it over and cure that as well. So let's just see, let's just see. I took it out and it's still pretty sticky, so I'm going to have to wipe that. I don't like that <laughs> with the poly gel, but <sighs> it's gotta come with something, right? Let me go ahead and try to wipe it. All right, let me wipe this. I'm going to build it, but let me finish the rest of the nails. I like doing your nails too. Mama, okay. used to play used to that color with my feet. Mm -hmm. I want that color. Okay. So we can match together. Okay. Why are you holding on to me? Because I love you. You just popped it off. Mm -mm. Yes, he did. Oh my goodness. Yes, he did. He just popped that over. No, I didn't pop it off yet. It's still gel. I'm still making it happen. Making it happen? Mm-hmm. Why? When you get older and big like me, you're going to do nails too? Huh? When you get older and big like me, are you going to do nails or not? Nah? Or maybe. Maybe. Okay. I would try to do my nails. If you had nail stuff, you would do it? Yeah. Okay.
let's see what we look like in a second i feel like the sun's going down i'm gonna have to turn on this light for y'all which is crazy that it looks like that on camera because honestly it's like the light is blinding in real life so i hate that for us okay so the con about not cleaning up the sides is that it's hard i feel like to pop off um i would need probably a tool or spend more time trying to pick at it period still soft in the bottom yeah i wonder what the logic of that is oh probably because it was covered with plastic up top and not in the bottom okay that makes sense pop this one off oh this one's like completely got stuff around it i think uh oh y'all maybe that's what these side things are for to help pop it off Okay, yeah, I definitely gotta do some file work. Okay, period. Okay, yeah. So, I'm gonna stop there. So, for the last one, I'm going to do this baby blue. Um, what color is this? It doesn't tell you. It doesn't even tell you. So, because this one's, like, shiny, I'm gonna do something different. And I think I want to mix this nail polish with it, because it's, like, glittery, to make it, like, a glittery one, versus putting the nail polish on it. I feel like I made it weird. So, that's what I'm gonna do. It's just a little bit more, just to be on the safe side. And now, I'm gonna put a dot of this all right let's So this is what it looks like off bat i don't like the consistency that it was when i added the gel nail polish but it was like it was like more sticky it wasn't firm at all so i mean if you like that then go ahead but i feel like it messes with the consistency which it may or may not affect like how long it stays on your nail without breaking on the side i didn't have a lot of product so you can see my nail straight through it are you supposed to save dual forms or do you like throw them away when they look like this I'm just gonna throw this out. I feel like you could just like dip them in alcohol and it'll be fine. So now I'm gonna go in and I am going to probably file it. So these took a fraction of the time it took to do these. So that's the pro of these. Um, if you're going, I feel like it shows as well. Like unless this is your style, um, these these look more obviously like more quality straight neat and then these look i mean granted i didn't finish but they just look they're more of like a rush this is like i feel like this is giving press-ons this is press-ons and then this is giving like acrylic so let me go ahead and first clean off this brush i really hate that i hope i wonder if it's just mine I haven't seen anybody else say anything about this, but I hate how it easily like pops off. Like it's literally no fight to slide this off. So while I'm working, as y'all saw, it pops off. So don't like that. But <sighs> let me go ahead and start cleaning up my nails. Oh, as far as the color, yeah, you can see the shine underneath the glitter, but nothing, it's not like this, like with the nail polish by itself. So Mm, probably won't do that again but yeah let me clean go ahead and clean underneath with white i can get away with just slapping these on so this only took a good i want to say 40 minutes it would have been quicker if i was not doing a bunch of stuff in the background but um yeah i would be satisfied with just walking out the door just like this just tell nobody to get close enough i'm gonna file it before i add any product let me just do one so i can see what i'm working with because i honestly will not be able to function with these curved nails but i feel like that's the point of this video to show the difference between the two tips who knows maybe now that i have waited a little bit and tried these it might be a little bit easier to put the dual form tips let's see if i can finesse and get them straight it'll probably be like shorter okay 
I was able to get the sides straight, but there's still going to be a hump here or add more product, make them thicker up here to fix it and make it more straight, but that would be more filing. So yeah, I'm not doing that. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna leave them like this. guys we finally made it to the end i'm 
super excited how these came out if i had to choose between the left and the right as far as design i would choose the right because i feel like it's just so full and everything kind of like blends in with each other i think it's super pretty i just love the length and the shape on these ones i really really love how precise i was with the lines on these but granted it's because this is my dominant hand so it was a lot easier versus this one is a little bit jagged as you can see definitely recommend these kind of forms if you love this shape and if you like the short look i would much rather have cut them down to like right here these were easier to apply because i didn't have to do much as far as like holding them in place they kind of just stuck in place but yeah i wanted to give this video out to you guys because i couldn't find enough videos comparing the two especially not with the dual form tips so i hope that that was helpful i don't see myself using poly gel with the nail tip forms unless i have no other way unless i can't find straight ones if you guys do know where there are straighter and longer dual forms let me know although i probably won't choose this method for long nails i definitely will be getting a different white polish because it did not set straight but luckily it's supposed to mimic snow and sometimes snow is thinner and more sparse in certain areas so it looks good i like this corner piece because if you were shoveling you would get you know piles of snow everywhere this motivated me to do nails i know editing this is going to be a pain so if you can give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends and let me know if you would let me do your nails Love you, Nesking, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!